SSB's School Heritage Corners program provides schools with a meaningful platform to document their own history and heritage, together with that of the community and neighborhood within which they reside. Beyond the basic aim of presenting the school's development and milestones, the Heritage Corner can be tailored as an innovative learning space that complements curriculum and learning outcomes. So how do you get started? Setting clear objectives and directions are essential in the development of the Heritage Corner. Consider how the Corner can document and disseminate history and heritage of the school, complement curriculum and learning outcomes, create a focal point for the school and its community, be a platform to cultivate a sense of identity and belonging, and to nurture heritage enthusiasts. At Tomasic Junior College, the Heritage Corner is a treasure trove of memories and historical milestones. This Heritage Corner is a milestone for us because it was a means to mark the 40th anniversary of our college and also to try to really commemorate some of the accolades and achievements that our school has achieved across the past four decades. At the heart of the Heritage Corner lies its content. To develop interesting content, there must be sound research and creative storytelling. Develop a research plan that covers various types of records and information to be included and the list of sources available. Next, you can start developing a storyline for your school heritage corner. There are many ways to tell a story, either through a thematic approach or a chronological way. Now, let us take a look at Tekwai Primary School's Heritage Corner that was inspired by the theme of tapestry. The theme that we have chosen is called TAMS. It stands for Tapestry of Individual Memories, Experiences and Salutations. We chose this theme to document the good work that is done by the school and community leaders as well as to motivate our current and future students to foster a spirit of community service. Another way of developing a storyline is through the chronological approach, highlighting the important milestones in the history of the school and its community. The Heritage Corner at St. Margaret's Secondary School tells the story of its 176-year history. St. Margaret Secondary School is the oldest girls' school in Singapore and also in Southeast Asia. Once history is not documented, it will just be lost forever. So we wanted to pass on the story of our school's journey to our students and staff and hopefully carry this legacy on for our future generations. Other than a well-thought storyline, artefacts and records, Schools are encouraged to incorporate the use of the Heritage Corner as part of the curriculum to ensure sustainability. The Heritage Gallery, the Times Gallery, it actually anchors the character and citizenship education CCE syllabus, especially social studies. And we also actually work with uh, MOE to co-develop six social studies lessons linked to our Heritage Gallery. To enhance students' learning experience at the Heritage Corner, consider incorporating interactive elements and use of drama and technology. The Heritage Gallery is meant to be a learning space for our students. So for, in order to really engage and to encourage our students to come to the gallery, I think there must be an element of surprise. At Techwai Primary, we actually believe in paying it forward. That is why we have a structured docent program whereby our docents will actually lead the social studies heritage lessons and they will also uh, guide visitors who come to our school. So this enables them to learn leadership and communication skills. Technology is essential in our daily lives, so that is why we incorporate uh, technology in our heritage gallery so that pupils will have a more engaging and meaningful learning experience. Additionally, you will also need to consider a suitable space for your heritage corner. When choosing the space, consider the following. Size. Accessibility. Construction, lighting and ventilation, maintenance, safety. Good resource planning is definitely critical to achieve the desired objectives of the Heritage Corner. Identify the various manpower resources within your ranks to manage the project. 
the creative concept of the corner will be shaped by your preliminary idea of how the corner should look and feel. Work within your budget, then plan the use of space. The budget available will also determine the scale and complexity of the project. Now that you heard their stories, do consider these tips as you embark on your own heritage journey. Every heritage corner is unique to the school. Build yours for the story that needs to be told. For more comprehensive information on setting up your own heritage corner, a guidebook from the National Heritage Board is available for download.